12-year-old philanthropist has a vested interest in keeping canine officers safe in Sacramento. Brady's Canine Fund is donating new ballistic vests to Sacramento police so their canine officers can be just as protected as their human handlers in the field. CBS 13's Adrian Moore got a first-hand look at the new gear, gifted after one of its police dogs was nearly killed. Ranger patrolling the streets of Sacramento, sporting an extra layer of safety these days. The two-year-old canine officer now outfitted with top-of-the-line bulletproof body armor. They're incredibly important. I mean, they're, they're a vital piece of life-saving equipment for the dogs, just like the vest that we wear. The ballistic vest is five times stronger than steel and protects the police dog's vital organs. It just snaps in right here on the side. And that's it. The upgrade bringing an added sense of security to his human handler. He has my back. I have his. Um, I do anything for him, and he would do anything for me as he did that night. The night he's talking about was back in November when Ranger was stabbed by a suspect he was trying to apprehend in Tahoe Park. When I had realized the critical nature of his injury, it was definitely one of the most terrible things I've experienced. That experience captured headlines and the attention of 12-year-old Brady Snikovsky in Ohio. He's the founder of Brady's Canine Fund, a nonprofit providing ballistic vests to police dogs across the country. The idea came to him after seeing a police dog on TV that wasn't wearing a protective vest like his partner. Just coming to work every day with him is the best thing in the world. New gear to protect those who protect us and make sure they come home at the end of their shift. Yeah, awesome to see that protection. The Sacramento Police Department has nine canine officers and every single one will get a custom made vest. They cost about $2,000 a piece, so not cheap.